can take. So, it's like, well, the, the, especially the second gen Mustang ones, they're, they're a lot cheaper now. They used to be two, three hundred dollars, and now you get them for about a hundred bucks. Oh, I guess. It's like, yeah, I don't. I mean, it, to not have the, to have it as a more or less swap, bolt on swap.
identical shocks, but just compared to compared to what I had in there. Can you tell the difference with the intake? Getting up there? Oh 
if it's the different, never mind. It's and a then, different cluster. And then, and then I can still run manual as well. Uh, eventually, I'm thinking about trying to squeeze some paddle shifters in here. That would, which would make it that much more fun. <laughs> but I got other stuff to figure out, to sort out before I play with modifying the modifications. <laughs> I gotta get it all right. fixed. I, I still don't have AC. Um, I gotta do something with all that fuse box stuff at your feet. Would that be something like a Raptor wheel? Since it's um, as far as paddle shifter? I'm actually thinking Research, but I'm thinking I'd rather have them on the column here, right. um, where they just behind the steering wheel, but have them on the column. Is it running the codes for the from the new truck? Yes. Yeah. Everything is completely independent. I have the 15 harness running the cluster, the engine, the transmission, the steering.